Hi, Troy Funk here, licensed real estate broker in the state of Florida. I am in an area known as Palmer Ranch, and I'm in a gated community of very nice homes. And today I wanna to give you an inside look of short sales, because short sales are going to increase. It's my belief system. I have a lot of data to support that. And I wanna explain what that means to a seller and what it means to a buyer right after this message. Welcome back. So I am in a, the gated community of Sand Hill Preserve, which is in Palmer Ranch. And it's a beautiful community. The homes are newer. In fact, they're still building new homes in this area. Uh, this is a, a desirable location, a lot of good reasons. But uh, short sales, as I, as I mentioned, I think they're, they're gonna start increasing and there's a lot of data to support that. And I wanna just talk about what that means to a seller and what that means to a buyer. So I'm giving you a walking tour from the clubhouse at Sand Hill Preserve to the home so you can get an idea of the quality of the area. Now, distress happens at all levels. It happens at all price points. And just know that good things happen, or should I say bad things happen to good people all the time. And even in this market, which is the hottest real estate market that I have seen for a seller, because we have so little inventory, we still have foreclosures. There's this misnomer that we don't have foreclosures. Well, you can see I'm getting foreclosures. I'm getting foreclosures from um, the banks and even I'm getting short sales from the banks. And you may wonder, well, how does, how can a bank give me a short sale when they don't own the property? Well, the dynamics of this are when an owner starts falling behind on their payments, Typically, a lender will consider a forbearance. And if a forbearance doesn't work, they'll look at a loan modification. Well, what happens if a loan modification doesn't work? Because in a lot of situations with a loan modification, the seller, the owner, should I say, has to qualify for the modification. So they have to qualify that they're able to make the payments from that point forward. Well, if they can't qualify for a loan modification, a lot of times they're in trouble. Uh, if they're not able to refinance it and they're so far behind on their payments. So what next? Well, the bank can start foreclosing and, and moving the property along. So they start litigation to foreclose on the property. But the reality is the banks don't want these houses back. So in some situations the banks will then let the owner know look we really don't want to foreclose on you we want to come up with a mediation process that works best for you and for the bank of course and that is that could be a short sale with a short sale what happens is when you look at what the owner owes on the mortgage let's just say that they owe, owe like in this area they owe 450,000 and with all the back payments, they haven't been making payments for a year. They haven't been making HOA payments. The value may go up to 500,000. Plus closing costs, attorneys, um, the value may be, the payoff to, to sell the home could be more than what the home is worth. Well, in essence, the only way the seller can sell that is they would have to come to closing with a check to make up the difference to pay their mortgage off. Well, if they don't have the money, that's not possible. So the next solution would be to go to the bank and say, look, I know we owe you 550, but we can't sell the home because the debts are, are too high with all the back payments, attorney's fees, HOA fees, all the things that we haven't paid, the payment's too high. So the lender says, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll reduce my I'll reduce the amount owed to us so we can facilitate the sale. And that way the property is not foreclosed and we don't have to take the property back. So that's, that's certainly a benefit to the bank because they don't have to take the property back. They're taking a loss to do a short sale. So they have to approve the short sale, but the seller gets out from under that debt, which is certainly huge. Now let's just say the seller says no, 
I don't want to do a short sale. Well, doing nothing's the worst possible solution um, because that ultimately, in most cases, is going to lead to foreclosure. So what's the difference between a foreclosure and a short sale? There's a huge difference. The biggest, re the biggest aspect of that is uh, financial recovery. And just think about any situation. I mean, if, if somebody's hurt, they go to the hospital, what's the objective? Is to kind of get out of the hospital, right? <laughs> kind of move on. I mean, you know, we all have seasons of good times and bad times, and, and that happens financially as well. So if someone's in a bad financial time in their life, it's a way to kind of get through that process a lot faster. So the difference credit-wise in, in some, in a lot of situations, somebody that goes through a short sale can potentially qualify for a new mortgage within a couple years. Whereas if they do nothing, they could up, they, they could end up uh, waiting seven years to get uh, new financing. So that's, that's a big difference. There's another big difference and that's called the deficiency judgment. With a foreclosure, a bank can secure a deficiency judgment against the former owner or borrower now that's that's very problematic because that means even after the property is foreclosed the bank can continue going after that owner for money so it's better to just solve the problem again the main reason for short sale for a seller is financial recovery so i've walked you down from the clubhouse to this home and i'm going to show you the front of this house this is a beautiful house it's a newer home and as i said bad things happen to good people. So it, you know, there's circumstances, even in the best markets that, that we see that uh, short sales happen. So this home is, for sale now it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna walk through and I'm gonna take my sunglasses off because I'm not in the sun. And this, this may not make sense as I walk through with the camera, but I'll, I'll give you some views of this space. So this right here is a front room as you enter, and this could be a den area. Then you walk through, there's a bathroom. Nope, rewind, there's a pantry to my right. And you have a big open kitchen here. Now the power's not on, and that's, that's normal for a short sale. Um, the, the owners have moved out of the property, so um, they haven't been making their, they're not, there's no reason for them to keep the power on. Um, with the short sale, a seller sells their home as is. So there's, there's, it's a hardship situation. Uh, sometimes the sellers leave gifts, as we call it. Um, and kind of the, the joke of it is, is sometimes the sellers leave the house furnished. <laughs> and by that, it, I mean it's not the furniture you want. It's just a matter that you have to kind of get rid of it. So I'm walking through the house. You see, it, this is a big open plan. There's two bedrooms over here to the right, two car garage. This is gonna lead into the master suite. There's a laundry room and I'm in the master bath, master bedroom. And as I said, the seller is gonna leave some gifts. That's normal, it's no big deal. But oh, the overall fact is, this is a, a nice young home and it really hasn't experienced all, enough life to it to, to have too much damage done to it. And the owners, not destructive people. Um, so as we walk through this home, this is what's kind of funny because when you walk out here, a lot of people get so upset with this. They're not used to seeing a green pool. Well, I'm not used to seeing too many blue pools, <laughs> especially, especially when I, when you work with uh, bank owned and short sales. I mean, almost in every situation, the pool is going to be green. This is not really a big deal. This, what happens is the, the pool company is going to have to come out here and shock this. The, the deck needs to be cleaned up. Obviously there's weeds growing through the pavers, but you can see the screens in good shape. It's a newer home. You have some nice neighbors. You have a nice wall behind you. It's quiet. And it's, it has great potential. 
So this is, this is a short sale in a real nice area. Now I'm gonna give you another, I'm gonna show you another property to give you just a, a kind of a balance of, of the opportunities and what's coming available for buyers, people that are looking to buy a short sale. As I mentioned, I have one more property I want to give you the insight look, uh, especially if you're a buyer looking for a distressed property where there's potentially equity to buy the property right, uh, fix it up and either resell it or just gain equity. So that that's coming next. But I want to first kind of get a little uh, transparent about who I am and what has gotten me to this journey where I'm at right now in my life. Um, there was a point where I owned 18 properties here in this area and uh, I had a mortgage on every one of them and on paper I was well over a million dollars strong you know millionaire but um, the market back uh, in 08 there's you know no secret what happened uh, it just we had a financial bubble basically I, a lot of people think it was a real estate bust it was really a financial bust but it changed the whole dynamics of my financial situation. And I went from being very positive on paper to being extremely negative. Uh, because I had mortgages on every single one of those properties, the value of the property became much less than what the mortgage was. And what was even worse is I could handle negative wealth if you could support it. Well, I couldn't financially support it with that many properties with mortgages um, the tenants weren't paying me rent and I was having a hard time getting uh, tenants to rent these properties. So I was in trouble. I went from being financially secure to being financially in trouble. So the, the, the real blessing that came from this whole, that whole situation is I learned everything I could about short sales. Now it was very difficult because at that time there really wasn't anybody to lead the way on having personal experience. And if I went to a bankruptcy attorney, he would say, just file bankruptcy. I didn't do that. And I would, I found that if I went to a foreclosure defense attorney, he would say, just prolong this forever. And, and, and I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to financially recover. So that is what led me to learning a lot about short sales. I short sale, I, I sold, I pretty much got rid of all those properties. Uh, some of them I was able to sell quickly, cash out, some of, some of those ended up, uh, many of those I, I short sold. But it gave me a fresh start and it allowed me to start buying properties again and financially get in good place. So I share that just to say, you know what, I'm, I'm a resource. If you're actually going through that kind of experience, I've been there, I understand that. And what I've done, it's a free resource, is I've created a website um, here and I'll share this information, Florida Short Sale Broker. And this gives you all. This gives you a lot of answers to questions that that people are facing when they're in this dilemma of, uh, you know, I'm in financial trouble with my property. I can't make the payments. The property potentially could be worth more than what, or the property could be worth less than what I owe on it. How do I get out? How do I recover? So this website is a free resource to help you if you're in that situation. Okay, let's go look at this next property. This is also a short sale opportunity. Now this one was assigned to me from the bank. So what happened is the bank encouraged the owner to, to short sale the property and the bank let me know that the owner is willing to short sale the property. I got in touch with the owner and the owner said yes, move forward. Um, so that happens in my line of work because I do handle bank owned properties. It's sometimes the banks actually refer me to sellers in distress to help the sellers with a short sale uh, to avoid foreclosure. So um, I'm at this property. This is the other end of the spectrum. This is more entry level uh, living. Now this property uh, needs a lot of work. So I'm gonna kind of quickly walk through there. I'll tell you, show you some photos. But the, the vision here is just that this, you know, there are opportunities. Now this one's gonna be priced very aggressively because it needs so much work. But it's an opportunity for a buyer. What are the buyer opportunities? Well, if you if you don't mind buying ugly, um, and we we have some opportunities to come in. This is something that there's certainly thing, there looks to be a big spread for what the home what this property could sell for to where 
it can be purchased for for what it's going to cost so let me get you let me get inside of this for a little bit and uh you can kind of see the the idea of a very distressed pre-foreclosure property now the biggest problem with this one is this is a mobile home but we normally don't handle mobile homes the situation with this is, is this is land owned so if it's land owned it's considered real estate. If it's not land owned, it's not considered real estate. And we can't represent sellers on uh, mobile homes that are not land owned. So I'm gonna take you a quick walk through. Being a mobile home, this is on a like a wood foundation that's not, not very secure. In fact, the whole floor is very spongy. And the owner had mentioned to me, mentioned that there was some kind of leak. I don't know what happened. He hasn't been here but it's not, it doesn't feel real safe. It just feels that this whole floor has to come out and everything needs to be redone. So this is, this is base pricing, or this is, like I said, entry level for our area, but I'll show some photos of what this looks like. And uh, again, give you some perspective on short sales. Uh, what's possible for a seller and certainly what's possible for a buyer if you're looking for an opportunity if you've liked this video please give me the like button hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button below to learn more about opportunities as i get them on the marketplace and also to help you and share information on pre-foreclosures short sales and bank-owned foreclosures thank you so much bye